are here in Hilton Head, so of course you have to go play golf. So we're gonna go play the resort we're staying at. They have a golf course right here attached to it. That's super nice, but they are aerating all the greens and doing work on the fairways and all that this week, so it's close. So we're gonna go just down the road, not even a mile to Old South Golf Course. Don't know what it's like, but we'll bring you along and we'll all find out together. over with me. This is kind of cool. Look at all the balls. Here at Old South Links on the ninth hole. Layout is, is fairly good. It's it's fairly nice layout, of course. Some tee box and some greens have, well, let's say, I don't know, they a little burnt. I don't know if they've had enough rain out here or what, but. Other than that, it's hot, fun. I think I'm 17 under and Kelly's 18 over. But anyway. I'm editing that out. I, I don't, when I only Neither play- one was playing the best, so. <laughs> Let's see what we can do on this hole. When I play once a year, twice a year, not good. I feel like they're missing water. Should be like a marshland right there. Will Kelly kill the turkey? And she stripes it straight down the middle. Yeah. My lucky turkey over here. We're leaving Old Links, Old South Links Golf Club, Bluffton, South Carolina, just outside of Hilton Head, right over the bridge from Hilton Head. Course set up and everything was really good. I liked it. The fairways were real nice. Super, super nice staff. Greens and tee boxes had some, had some rough spots in them. Some of them were, some of the tee boxes were nothing but sand. For the price, I think we paid 67 per person plus tax. So really, really reasonable. Didn't play our best, but that's golf. You know, that's part of it. If you're around here, you want a round, that's unless you're wanting to pay 150, 200 per round, uh, I would suggest Old South. All right, we finished our speedboat tour. Kelly's gonna hang out here at the campsite. I'm gonna go play some more golf. 
I'm gonna go to Robert Trent Jones here in Hilton Head. Don't know how much I'll be able to film for y'all. I'm sure I'll get paired with some, I'm sure I'll get paired with another group. At least give you a look at it anyway. So let's see how long it takes to get there from Bluffton cause the bridge was backed up a little minute ago. Let's go do it. All right, 192 over the water here on the par three. Did a pretty good shot, but I cannot make a putt today. So, uh, hit a seven iron that distance. I blew it long, but the wind had her back pretty good. So that's the only reason that seven iron went that far. made par anyway so on to the next hole Let's see what hole am I on. I'm on 13th hole in my pair I was playing with. They had to go ahead and run because they had a dinner um, reservation. So I am now a single. That's okay. I have par, birdie, par the last three holes. So starting to play a little better. Although I did hook that one pretty bad off the tee box, but hey. That was not good. I about went right up under that ball. Popped it straight up. See if we can get up and down for par. Not a good bogey from 92 yards. Huh. 92 yards out from bogey. Let's go. I didn't get to finish my review for the golf course. Robert Trent Jones here at Hilton Head Island. Cause Kelly gave me a dud GoPro, the battery didn't last no time. She didn't send me an extra battery, so it's all her fault. But anyway, the golf course. Staff, awesome. I mean, people there were super friendly, very helpful, very accommodating. So 100%, five, five out of five on that. Warm up area, they've got a track man covered, um, hitting bay but you're hitting off mats. Not my favorite to hit off mats on when I'm warming up. Um, I kind of like to hit off a of real grass when I'm warming up. Just so, it seems like it's so much easier to hit off mats than it is regular grass, but still very nice. As far as the course, it is rated right the second best course Hilton had. Everything was super nice about it, but the greens were a little, little burnt. Um, some bad spots in the greens I wasn't expecting. Not all of them, just a few. But, and you can tell where there were tons and tons and tons of divot marks. Like it's, it's packed all day long. There's group after group after group hitting into these greens. But, very, very nice 
The only thing I have to compare it to is back home in Alabama, we have what's called the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail. And I would rate the golf courses on the trail a little higher than I would here at Hilton Head. But you can't beat the views and the scenery here though. So, you know, if you want to go and beautiful layout, a lot of water, on uh, only two holes you can see the ocean that's the green on the 10th and the tee box on the 11th it's the only time you can see the ocean but still still a great course i recommend you playing it if you come here to hilton head island it's 167 i think is what i paid i think i had to pay extra for range balls which is usually a little weird for a higher end course usually they include the range balls but are the ones I played at. Just the ones I played at. I haven't played at a lot. But anyway, just a little follow-up review since the camera died, and we're going to go today to a little bar that I saw that's right next to the 10th green. It's called Coco's on the Beach. And we'll kind of give you another little picture of the 10th green since I didn't carry the GoPro up on the 10th green. Like and subscribe. Till next time. Till next time, like and subscribe. All right. Kelly said I said it wrong, so. Till next time, like and subscribe. Till next time, like and subscribe. That's it. <laughs>